I want you to be honest with me about something. With the best medical care available, what are the odds that she could survive this pregnancy? There's always a chance. No, I want a percentage. 20%, 30%, high end. Thank God. The strain on her one remaining kidney could be intolerable. And the result in cardio stress. Even with constant monitoring? We could bring her in on a weekly basis. We could check the functioning of her kidneys, do you know, heart monitoring, EKGs. But once she's past the first trimester, if her system begins to shut down, we risk losing her and the baby. OK. Where are you going? I'm going to find David Hayward. See if he can talk any sense into her. Hayward? No, don't let him near Dixie. They said they rushed the results of the blood test. Mm, I'm in no hurry. Thanks for waiting with me. Oh, you're welcome. I like feeling helpful. Mm. <sighs> this started out being one of the best days of my life, and I think it's going to end up being one of the worst. <laughs> Why? Oh, you know how sometimes, you know, you expect somebody to react a certain way, and then they don't. They, in fact, react just the opposite. I know what you mean. You do? Why? What's going on with you? What's on me exactly? See, that's the problem. It's... It's a little hard to explain. Well, try me. <laughs> Jillian? Try them to talk about it. Did Jake... Did Jake say something? Did he do something? No, 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 no. Jake, Jake's just... He's... He's just a wonderful man, and he's... He's so direct with his feelings and, and open about it. See, Ryan's not like that at all. Oh. And you can't stop comparing Jake to Ryan? No. No. And I know that, you know, it makes me feel a little, uh, not dishonest exactly, but it's just not right. And it's not fair to Jake. Because mm. you're still in love with Ryan. I know it's pointless. No. Look, if it helps at all, I think... I think Jake understands this. No, he does. Yeah, he does. It's me. It's me. I, um... I just want to make the feelings for Ryan stop. And I, I keep wondering where he's going to be in two years from now, or ten years from now, and... Dixie, he's... He's part of me. And when I think of my future... He's there. Well, I understand. I really do. How do you like go? Well, maybe you don't. I mean, if if you love Ryan, I mean, if that's how you really feel, maybe you should hold on. Yeah, but we're divorced, and he doesn't want to be with me. He's made that very clear. Otherwise, we know we'd be together now, and we're not. So it doesn't matter what he says, you know. I'm sorry. I, I, I wish I could help. No, you did. You made me realize that I was just fooling myself. Anyway, you better get back to Tad because he's going to get worried. Thank you for listening. Oh, sure. You know, and you, you listen to yourself, you know? Listen to your heart. You'll sort this out. Why not? Dixie needs help. We can't trust him, considering his history with our family. Come on. Jake, he saved her life once. Maybe he can do it again. You're going to put Dixie's life back in his hands again? I don't have a choice. What do you expect me to do? I'm not going to risk losing her. If I do, you might as well kill me, too. Would you just stop it, all of you? You're talking about me like you're in charge of my body, and you're not. This is my life, not yours. And I will decide what to do with it. Dicks. Now we know how many weeks. 